you all know, pediatric part is a very heavy and huge part of ophthalmology. So today I'll be discussing some of the important part of pediatric ophthalmology. So first point which I'll be covering is pediatric cataract. As, as a whole, there is no definition of pediatric cataract, but pediatric cataract is that any lentil opacity in the lens, any opacity is there, that is a cataract. Now this cataract can come from age of from newborn baby to the old age person. So that stretch of cataract is very high. If the cataract is diagnosed within first 14 to 15 years of life, we call this as a pediatric cataract. Now what is the problem with pediatric cataract? The problem with pediatric cataract is that suppose a child is having cataract at birth. That means there has to be certain congenital anomaly. Congenital anomaly the most common is rubella which we see that means the child will have a problem with the heart disease along with the cataract. So how you diagnose a pediatric cataract? To diagnose pediatric cataract, the most important thing is from the mother. So when feeding, the mother sees that the child is not focusing on the eyes. There is no eye contact. If there is a lack of eye contact, that may be one of the indications. The second thing is that the parents, they notice that there is certain called as white reflex. The moment they get close to the baby, they see a white reflex. So if you, they see a white reflex, that is something which they have suddenly noted. And more importantly, when they take the baby out in the sun, the, with the reflection of the sunlight, uh, the baby squeezes the eye. So all these other three important criteria where the mother will get the child to an ophthalmologist. So ophthalmologist will examine the cataract and find out what is happening. If the baby is very small, we have to examine under anesthesia. If the baby can be examined say around 6-7 years of age, then the baby can be examined in the clinical setup under slit lamp examination. So you do a dilated examination because we will put the drops, we will dilate the people and examine from anterior to posterior. The most important thing which we have to rule out for the babies are retinoblastoma because retinoblastoma is a uh, tumor of the retina that also gives that white reflex or cast eye reflex so that is the most one of the most important differential diagnosis that has to be ruled out so before operating a pediatric cataract we have to be very 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 sure that the retina is normal How you operate a pediatric cataract? So once operating a pediatric cataract, it is just like an adult cataract but while operating some of the important uh, parameter has to be taken because the eye is pediatric in nature, the structures are soft. So accordingly we, put, uh, we, we, we can do the normal adult cataract, the FACO can be done, FACO refractive surgeries can be done with implantation of intraocular lenses or else we can do small incision cataract surgery with implantation of lens. Yes, if the eye is normal, if the certain criteria of normality is seen, like uh, if the if the baby is well matured, maybe on four, three, four month of age, having a bilateral cataract, and uh, if uh, the the axial length is uh, around 20, 22 millimeter, if the corneal diameter is more than 10 millimeter, people preferably bilateral cataract. People go for a, 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 a intraocular lens implantation, but the practice is that the clinical practice is that because the baby is small, so we can just go for the uh, simple cataract removal and make something called as aphakia. That means there is no lens. In, on top of that, once the surgery is done and post-operative follow-up, we basically uh, give a plus ten correction to the baby, and as the baby will grow up. Then after a certain point of time, maybe on 7-8 years of age, a secondary eye implantation can be done. As such, cataract, if it is there in the baby, if it is significant, 
if it is more than 3 mm in size or in diameter it has to be operated because if you don't operate the cataract the baby will lose the vision